Hey guys, Rick and Steve here. We're going to look at some exotic shotgun ammo today. The Rio MG Balabalindada <laughs> Slug. It's a 1,550 feet per second, one and eighth ounce, two and three quarters inch slug, uh, 12 gauge. So it's a bit of a, like a jet turbine. Okay, YouTube, here we are with our 12 gauge Rio shotgun rounds, the name of which I won't even attempt because uh, Steve says it so well. But, as you might guess with any slug, massive damage, massive penetration. Yes, meat rain. Okay, YouTube, Rick and Steve, here we are with our Rio Bala Bada Bing rounds. And what you're seeing here is our third piece of interior wall board. And we've got wood fragments stuck in those from the collision with this piece of 2x2. Um, uh, two two. And here you have the actual penetrator that is the Rio Bala Bada Bing bullet. Let's see if we can dig that out for you here in just a little while. So we have complete penetration through the wall board, and it took um, a piece of our pork roast with it just to be, I'll call it a snack. Entrance wound through, or exit wound through the uh, blue jean material. Here are our ribs. And if you heard that, it sounded like gravel hitting the tabletop. That was actually pieces of bone. Then, entrance in our pork shoulder and it did that all by itself definitely the most explosive round that we have fired all season hey youtube we've found the most disturbing projectile we've encountered so far this is that uh, rio bala bada bing bullet it's actually some sort of a screw through a piece of lead and sitting inside of a copper Thin stabilizing Sabo. Very, very devious. All right, YouTube. Rick and Steve, here we go with the uh, Rio 12 gauge shotgun round. Looks like we had complete penetration of the block, which is 16 and a half inches. At about the six inch mark, we have a permanent cavity that is about three inches wide. And as you might expect, an angry ounce and an eighth of lead is, e is able to easily pass through drywall. Underneath which we found the um, Sabo, that is the rear half of the Sabo and the fin stabilizing copper that uh, tends to lend some accuracy to this round.